So do not feel uh, uh, pressured or what. What <laughs> What I just wanted to accomplish with everyone as a way of thank you is that you share in the social suffering of our research. <laughs> so we suffered so much and we want to have some kind of a shared social suffering, okay? So what happened, what actually transpired is this one. What I did with everyone is to make you think about things that you listen to. Okay? So, when you are asked to think about a particular concept, then you feel anxious. Di ba? Parang, pag ganito. Gusto-gusto ko to. Sinasabi ko sa mga estudyante ko, kung gusto nyo mag-research, hanggat hindi nyo nararamdaman yung ugat nyo dito, alam nyo na nag-gumuguwer, hindi ka nag-research. If you are my RA, my research assistant, you can only be my RA habang nakikipag-usap ka sa akin at may tumutulo ng dugo dito. <laughs> hindi dito. Pag may tumutulo na sa tengang dugo mo, ibig sabihin ayaw na, hindi na kaya ng isip mo, yung pinag-iisip mo, right? Ngayon, wala akong nakitang dugong tumulo. So, ibig sabihin, <laughs> parang hindi pa tama yung pag-iisip, no? Hindi pa, hindi pa, nag, nag, hindi pa, yung mga ugat, no? Wala pa nangyayari, right? No? So, what we did, that's why it's called conceptual uh, data uh, uh, project. What it did is that, it made you think about the results. And there are people who are asking, where are the results? Uh, your results na na po sa module, right? So, so those are the results. You should not be thinking about it. Uh, so it made you think about the results. And then the gaps in the results. Hindi ibig sabihin result na siya. Yun na yun. No, no, no. What we ask from you is to look into the things that are missing because we already have the data. So what are the missing data so that you could actually identify implications? Huh. The pastoral implications, ladies and gentlemen, are not those that you think it is. The pastoral implications are actually conceptual frames, concepts. That abstraction chat. Kasi that allows you to imagine things. Like for example, inclusive faith, well-being. Those are the pastoral implications. Abstract siya, abstract. Right? Kasi it's allowing you to think. Then, you will return to what you call as the reality, which means the presentation, the thinking about the project. So what's the whole point? Okay? Kasi I will, uh, kaya ako humingiti na ng surprise because matatapos na po ako. Naintindihan niyo po yun. Meaning, after receiving an invite two months ago from, from Dr. Lissander, sabi ko, oh my God, this is exciting. Diba? We prepared, right? As you, as you could see, we already prepared a lot of things. Excited po kami doon. Wala po kaming naging May 1 because we prepared the data for you. So we did not have any labor day because of you. So hindi na kayo nag labor day. Labor day po yun. Oo, talagang totoong labor day sa amin, of course. Yeah. But ang point, <laughs> ang point po is ganito po. We wanted, kaya ako masaya is because hindi po kami nabibigyan ng itong pagkakataon as researchers. Alam niyo as researchers, what's so sad about it is that you thought about it, you wrote about it, and then pupunta ka sa conference, you only are given 10 minutes to talk about it. And then you get stupid questions from, 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 ano, from audience. Why? Because both of you do not know what you're talking about, right? <laughs> Kasi hindi naman talaga binigay, hindi mo naman, syempre impression lang sa'yo. What is what I'm I think celebrating is this one. Look at that. Hindi impression ng pinag-usapan natin, no nor opinion. Kanina nung nakikita ko kayo, gustong gusto ko na nalilito kayo. Gustong gusto ko na hindi niyo alam ko anong ilalagay niyo diyan. I love it. I love it because that only means for some reason 
pagbalik nyo sa field, alam nyo na na hindi pwedeng minamadali ang mga bagay-bagay. Pinag-iisipan ito. At pag hindi mo prinano ng maayos, pangit ang kalalabasan. Kahit anumang ritual, pag hindi kayo nagplano ng maayos at wala kang alam na information, pangit ang kalalabasan. Okay? Sadly, I should have explained to you yung isang module na hindi ko na ma-share kasi wala na tayong time. Pero nasa inyo, bibigay ko sa inyo, yung concept of pananaliksik. It could help so you could be more empowered. For this purpose, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to encourage everyone to look into this, think about it more, so that by next week siguro, you could produce something. Ganito po ang plano ko at sinabi ko na po ito kina Sister Rhea. Nakita niyo na po ito. Ito pong gagawin, meron ka ng idea, siyempre hindi pa nag-internalize. So you will see your data and everything. Ang pinapropose ko po ay ganito. Sana po, in the next few days, magugulat po kayo na ang module pong ibibigay sa inyo in the next few days are actually related to all this. Ibig sabihin, ito pong data and information, if you're going to look at the module that you're going to take, actually will inform you on two things. The data that you would need and the pastoral uh, implications. Your problem is that you do not have concepts that will capture your sentiments. You don't know how you call them, but you actually could feel them. Alam ko yun, pero hindi ko alam kung ano tawag. So you lack concepts, right? That's why you're having the certification program. Siyempre, nung dinisign ko to, nakita ko yung program nyo. Marami pa kayong pag-aaralan in the next few days. So therefore, this should be an ongoing dialogue between what you're learning. So ibig sabihin, bawal matulog talaga all throughout, right? Kasi wala kayong concepts na magagamit, right? So, mayroon ng NCS results. Ito, fill up nyo ng mga natututunan ninyo sa modules na susunod in the next few days. Okay? Then, promise me, Sister Rhea, promise me, please, nasa sinisana, <laughs> di ba sinisana? Oh, whoever, promise me, and the God, if you want, right? Alam nyo, ang dream ko lang, after this two-week seminar, uh, certification program, identify even just one project one informed project that you could implement when you return to your respective ecclesiastical territories. Isa lang. Huwag masyadong marami. Just one. And it will be beautiful. That's the whole logic of what we did. Now, before we finally end, no, can I have some sharing from you? Affirmation or insights, no? So what happened today? Was it a waste of time? You think you were informed? What happened? Sige nga po. Eh, ito pinakagusto ko sa lahat. Ba'n bibigay ng ganito? What happened? No! Yes! No! Sige nga po, explain po. Wala na. Wala na mag-explain, right? Amazing. Yes, sir. Yes, Father. Yes, Father po ba? Ah, okay. Katulad ko. Opo. Teka, kailangan natin ng mic. Ah, ayun, yan. May mic po siya. Thank you. Yes. Identify yourself. Uh, ako po si Nomar Abulensa from the Diocese of Palo. Palo. I, I, I'm a lay person po. Hindi po ako pare at hindi po ako magsinyo ko tulad niyo. <laughs> um, I am happy that uh, a while ago you came to our group and make a chismis that you will be reporting to the Diocese, uh, CBCP Plus. You will you'll come up also with an EP uh, report. Yeah, Father Dex. Yeah. Because this is the only way that the, the 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 priests would really pay attention to the catechetical ministry, you know. Kasi alam naman po natin, yung simbahan natin ay masyado pong hierarchical, you know. Mm -hmm. Na kalimitan po kahit galing na sa katastas, ang kagalang-galang ng mga anak ng bayan, ang utos, pagpunta po sa pastoral level, sa parish po, Minsan, depende pag hindi po feel ng pare, wala, pa yung, wala po yung ma, ma, mangyayari. Ano? Yeah. And um, kalimitan po kasi pag sinabing, pag sinabing uh, 
catechetical uh, activities, ang una pong nasasabi po ng mga kaparehan dyan ay eh, walang budget at tahanan pa tayo. Eh kung ang, kateke ang catechesis is a vital activity eh, ng parokya, dapat po nakaslas po yun dun sa ano, sa sa program po ng parokya na mismo po. Sabi ng lahat ng narito, budget, 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 right? Opo, kasi po, um, <laughs> Sabi niya, program, program. Di, budget, budget, budget. <laughs> okay. Para, para po ma, ma, mapansin po talaga, even sa, pas, kasi umupo rin po sa PPC, yes. hindi po yan napag-iisipan at napag-uusapan. Yeah, I know. Yung po yung sinabi sa akin ng mga respondents, right? And so, I could feel it. And um, ang hope natin really is uh, that we could translate this into something better. Yung iba pa po, sharing. Sige na po. Salamat po ah, sa lakas ng doob, right? How about the others? Did you... What is it that you gather from the activity, from the sharing? Medyo alam nyo po, congratulations ha. Kasi... You, 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 it seems like you attended a conference. Hindi niyo po yung ginawa sa sarili niyo. You attended a conference listening to many papers and you were sitting there. Right? Meaning, wow! But I think it matters because you're part of it, right? When you're in a conference and you do, it, it's not relevant to you, you don't like to listen, right? Okay. Pero now, I think it's, it's very relevant. Okay? So do we have more sharing? Yes, sister. Good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon, Paul. Um, I am likewise grateful for this wonderful day that you have um, exposed all these things to us. Na ito na talaga yung buhay namin. Mm -hmm. Kaya mumingiti kami at uh, ina-affirm po namin yung sinabi nyo. Kasi hindi namin maitatanggi na yan talaga ang mukha ng catechetical ministry sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Naalala ko pa yung founder namin kasi yung sa yung pinost niyo kay na before lunch yung yeah. sabi niya ay um, ano yun mas maraming nagiging katikista pag ang obispo at ang pari ay pusong katikista kasi yung founder po namin the servant of god Alfredo Maria Aguiar yun ang sinasabi niya talaga na kaya siya nag-found ng congregation opo kasi nakikita niya ang mga katikista pag, pag nag-aasawa o naghahanap ng greener pastures ay pinapabayaan nila ang ministry. Pero dahil siya ay may pusong katekista, yun yung mga glorious days ng catechetical ministry in the Archdiocese of Lipa and the Diocese of Lucena. Kasi siya mismo ay katekista. So yun po, malaking factor talaga yung mga leaders natin. Na one realization po that we had when uh, our ecclesiastical province was working, sabi namin, kaya pala, bakit hindi naman nilagay doon eh, pero nakita natin, yun pala yun. Kasi gusto nyo pa kami mag-isip at may mag-isipan na kami na kulang pa. Correct. So, uh, so, so ang may realization eh, siguro ito, gagamitin pa nila para mas ma-improve pa yung okay. ano. Okay. So, and may, may nakita na po kami, may mga uh, discoveries that we would like to to share later on. Thank yes. you very so, much po. Thank you po, sister. Nakapalakpakan natin, sister. Para gusto ko makakuha dito ng, ano, ng opinion, no? bago ako mag-end. No? Alam mo, sinasabi ko yung bago ako mag-end kasi para lang makuha ko yung attention nyo. Kahit 30 minutes before the end of your lecture, sabihin nyo mag-e-end na kayo. Oo, makukuha niyo attention nila. Kaya sabihin mo, Father, pagka mag-ano mag, ka, mag-preach ka, sabihin mo, in the end, pero yung in the end na yung mga 30 minutes yan. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't follow me, don't follow me. Right? Oh, dito naman, dito naman. Meron, wala ba? Wala bang insights man lang dito? Si sister, hindi na ako tinitingnan talaga. <laughs> okay, may insights from this part. Oh, Father, ikaw na nga, Father. Para ikaw na, sige na. Okay na. Nasabi mo na sa akin kanina, sige, Father. No? <laughs> kahit ano, kahit ano, right? No? Sige po, para mag-end na po tayo. <laughs> Ayaw niya si Sister. Okay, good. Thank you po, thank you po. Oh, sige na nga ba, para hindi... <laughs> I-represent ang left. Opo, opo. Right. Well, uh, in the process po, lalo na kanina nung nakagroom kami sa, amin, uh, sa region namin, we were able to find out our 
uh, things in common, our uh -huh. best practices, mm -hmm. at may napulog kami sa isa't isa, and yeah. then kung saan pa kami dapat mag-improve. Yeah. And most of all, we were able to find out how we can help each other. Dahil mga neighbors kami. No? So, we are thankful for this opportunity na we were able to find out uh, what we need to uh, pursue, what we need to keep on doing, and what else uh, is needed para lalong mas maging maganda ang katiketical ministry. Thank you. Nice. Thank you po. Thank you so much. Um, to end, meron pa bang gusto mag-magana pa? <laughs> Totoo na to. <laughs> to end, meron pa bang, ah, oh, sister, sister, sister. Sige po. Hey, sister. <laughs> I like just I like your word that you say there's a fact. Yes. Because for me, this is my first year to be assigned in a pastoral. Okay. But I am a religious ed in catechetics in Father Dex. So talagang, this is my dream not to be there in the pastoral. Now I see this I went to the parish, the vicarate, and my goodness, it will work. Shall we give justice to the teachings of the church? How it will be transferred to the knowledge of the yeah. children yeah. and the young people. And now, parang for me, since the bishop invited us for formation, I said to myself, to my director, Father, can we have just a bit of assessment? So where I can start the formation? So where I can journey the where I can journey the catechist here, no? So sabi niya, Allah, mag-exam ka. Si Father nag-exam ka nito. Tumigil ang lahat ng katikista. Kasi hindi pumasa. No, I will explain to them. This is just part of gauge for me. How can I journey the catechist here since I am beginner? Aha. Oo. So, kung ikaw kasi galing ka sa school. So, fact, fact. No, I should have fact a bit. So, I can have it. So, that is why I like it when you say it. Because, when our catechetical assessment. So, once I have it, I'll try to see what will be the formation. Thank you, Paul. So, that's good, that's good, that's good. That means that you're picking up the research. Yeah, yeah. So, it's also very important for us as leaders to have skills. Because we see the need, but at times you don't know how to do it. Yep. Especially yeah, research. Yep. Yes, okay. So, I asked help from our sister in the research. Yeah. So, I do the, the, the questionnaire, I have it. The assessment of the, the articulation of doctrine, moral yeah. worship. Then I ask sisters in Luzon, please help me how to yeah. interpret. I don't know. Okay. So that's one thing. Thank you so much. You know what? I'm sorry. I'll see you po siyang palak. I I suddenly remember uh, uh, what one time. Meaning, I was just you know in the office, and then kailangan ako ng graduate school. <laughs> Uh, and so, who's, the, who's our father regent in graduate school? Si father Oriada. Or Oriada. So, I think he's a theologian. Or I'm sorry. He was my friend, but he's a Dominican, so he owns USD. So, when he asked me, <laughs> when he asked me something, sabi niya, yeah, yeah, I need your help. Okay, so what help do you need? Sabi niya sa akin, meron daw sila for, ano, um, uh, theology training, right? Sabi ko, okay, so I'm not a theologian, so I don't think I could do anything with that, right? Sabi no, 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 no. I want you to assess, sabi niya, assess, no? The knowledge of the participants before the training. Sabi ko, okay, but I am not a theologian, so I don't know the questions that will be asked. Sabi niya, no, 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 no. I want you to be uh, looking into this. What do you mean? Sabi ko, I need someone who will be implementing the project because I do not know what the project is all about. So I need someone who knows about the training so I could guide the person. And so you know what happened? It was very interesting because we talked about it and it's a very simple Google form-based assessment. We were able to produce a three-page questionnaire that assessed the, 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 their understanding of what they call as theology. And because of that, Father Ariada knows what to teach. Kasi alam na, na-identify na nila kung ano yung alam ng mga respondents. Kasi nga daw, diverse yung attendees from 15 years old to 60 plus years old. So paano niya malalaman, right? And it was very effective. And now the pro program is running over and over again. But that is just a simple, ano, 
a simple way of doing some kind of a research. Of course, national catechetical study is a sophisticated part which needs more sophisticated tools. But let me end, ladies and gentlemen, by the question, why should I research, right? Bakit ba tayo dapat mag-research? Well, there is a context to all these things. See, research, if you Google search it, is a systematic investigation, okay, of whatever. Pero, you know what is more important here? Is not this one, but this one. In 0.18 seconds, you have a heat of 444 million of what research is all about. So if you're not doing a research, good luck. Because that's how important that term is. Wherever you are, whoever you are, mahalaga siya. It's very, very important. But uh, more to that, this is how we are explained. Those who are doing some kind of research, we are puppets and muppets, no? If you're an undergrad, you are beautiful Elmo. But if you are a professor, <laughs> you become like that. Meaning, we are demonized in a way when you're doing research and mapetized, right? Alam, alam mo yon. Remember your teachers who examined you? You don't like them up to now. Di ba? For those people who gave you low uh, thesis grade, you hate them up to now, right? Also, I like it, but that is a reality that we are mapetized and demonized always when it comes to the academic training. So, therefore, kanina nung nakikita kong umiinit na yung ulo ninyo, doon sa ginagawa ninyo, patay patay ang blues ito, I will be demonized by this process, right? Uh, which is always the case. Huh? Anyhow, just to give you some glimpse before talking about why you should be researching, the uh, research landscape in the Philippines, uh, marami nang nagsulat nito, no? And, uh, uh, it's beautiful to show na marami na nagsusulat tungkol dito sa iba't ibang state of research landscape in the Philippines. It's not yet there. We're not yet there. We have a very low research index dito sa Philippines. But in any case, uh, ang point ko dito is in the university, we are currently facing the, the what you call, and this is uh, for you, fellow sociologists from Ateneo, crisis of legitimacy, meaning you have a lot of interest in having some kind of a degree, but they are not legitimate. They are not legitimate because you, it's all fake news, methodologically unsound. So there's no legitimacy on that. Uh, identity. Research institution is a problem with identity. Meaning, what do we research, what do we do, and everything. Survival is all about funding. Okay, you cannot survive. Kaya nga sabi ko, yung research, the, the parish, you don't have any research fund. You don't know the power of creating documentation of your parishioners. In, 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 uh, uh, Paco, uh, San, de Dila, San Fernando de Dilao, with Monsi, twice I've been involved in doing some kind of pastoral planning based on survey. Who amongst your, the parish priests does that? Interview surveys. Simple lang, para malaman niya ano yung paplano ng parish pastoral council. Research based, no? That for me is something that we have to look into. But why should I research? Why should we research? And this is these are my uh, responses. Research, believe it or not, makes a better student and a teacher. Believe me, if you want to preach well, if you want to teach well, and kung teacher ka, katinketika leader ka, at hindi ka na nagbabasa, you're committing a sin. And I'm not a theologian, okay? So, naitinayan niyo ko. You need to inform yourself with beautiful, good, documents to inform you on what's happening with the world, with what's happening with your craft. If not, you will not be a better 
priest, a better student, or a better teacher. Sigurado ako dito. Alam ng estudyante kung tanga ang nagtuturo. Do not do that to yourself. You have to read, you have to study. Because what's the problem with the educational system in the country is that it does not promote lifelong learning. Studying in this country promotes some kind of a competition and that if you finish your college, that's it for you. You don't read anymore, etc., etc. That is really crucial and critical to having an informed citizenry. So, kung ikaw ay katoliko at hindi ka nag... This is very interesting. Eh? But although I'm not too rich, ritualistic, I'm telling you, a simple email of daily gospel makes my day full. I don't know. Are you reading the gospel every day before going to any ritual? There is a big difference. I'm sorry, I'm not a tail again. But I'm telling you, yung email system may... I mean, they could just email you the, 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 or the Facebook could just have all these things, right? I read it to inform me of a lot of things. Politicians, we pray for them because they don't do research anymore. Okay? They, it's beyond them. Manager and administrator, oh my. If you're managing some managing managing mani, managing something, please read. Please do research before making any decision. Your decision for the catechetical ministry is so crucial that you are managing not just people, but you're managing souls. I remember the story of um, 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 the story of some communist leaders that they has they, they it's a it's a simple na na big this and discourage sila sa nangyayari sa church right bakit right it's it's very interesting because you don't manage people when you are doing catechetical ministry for me it's a management of souls too a combination so very delicate talaga yung 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 catechetical leadership for our lawmaker and policy, oh, that is really very interesting. This is a country without any basis for any law. Okay? So with the upcoming election, I tell you, have you ever seen your barangay profile? Did anyone do any barangay profile? People saying that this will be the project law. Right? A few. In catechetical ministry, we're changing the landscape. I am proposing that national catechetical study be conducted every five years, not 10 years, not 20 years, not 30 years as in this case. And also, I'm proposing that two years after the catechetical study, every there should be a national research conference on catechetical ministry. So I already proposed that with Bishop, with Eche, I hope there will be some kind of attraction to, to do it. So, if I'm correct and I'm still alive five years from now, you have the data so you could compare it to 2021 results. And kung buhay pa ako after five years, 2026, makikita natin siya. Kung buhay pa ako after five years, hmm, 2031, okay na. Ngayon, kung buhay pa tayong lahat, at nagsasalita ta, at nagkwekwentuhan tayo, you could co actually compare four time points to see what happened with our catechetical ministry. Ganun pa rin, women pa rin, matatanda pa rin, di ba? Yung formation ba tumakas? Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, one time frame lang to eh. We cannot even compare. Well, well, how could I compare the 30 years ago to now? What we know is that para yung concern ng 1979, 1989, and 2018. Interesting, right? Lastly, as an ending, kanina pa ako ending ng ending siya. I do not know. This is a very secular thing, but I really think a little bit of research will allow everyone to just shut up first before saying anything. 
parang ganon ang nagawa ng research sa akin. And technically, I think it's the thing that I learned doing some kind of academic work over the number of years. Things are not what they, what they seem, ladies and gentlemen. It's like research landscape of the National Catechetical Ministry. Things are not what they seem. Meaning, you cannot judge immediately. Like me, you probably think that I'm young, but I'm not. I'm already 43 years old. And I have been teaching in the university for nearly 25 years. I've been given a service award in, uh, recently. And you probably will not notice immediately, especially if I have this kind of fur car, right? And if I am not in the barong, things are not what they seem. That is what research has done to me over the number of years. And one more thing. Ladies and gentlemen, no undergrad ako, nag-socio ako sa UST. Okay lang ako eh. Meron ako natutunan. Pero nung nag-masters ako sa UP Diliman ng sociology, oh, I tell you, saksakan yata ang yabang ko na. Masters ako, right? But I'm always told what I learned from my PhD work in Canada where I have to be there for about 8 years of my life. I was there, I studied, and then I decided to return to the country. Although I already am teaching at Dalhousie University as a lecturer, right? I was told, why are you returning, right? I said, because I love my country, right? And so, sabi ko, wow, this is crazy, right? But I was asked the most important question. Why, what did you learn from your PhD work in Canada? Sabi ko, wow, that's a big question. And that has always been asked from me, or to me, by many people. You know, kaming mga nag-aral, whatever, right? Pagbalik dito. I'm going to be very honest with you. That's why I'm always thankful for all the intersections I had whenever I'm given the chance to speak, to share. It's because when I'm asked the question, why, what did you learn from doing PhD? I always say one thing, that I know nothing. What PhD has done to me was to shut up. What, what PhD has done to me was to be fascinated with the world. That I cannot know anything, but probably I can know something, just little bit, right? That's why in the last few hours, you probably are observing, I'm so apologetic on things that I do not know because I really do not know it. I can only be passionate to things that I know because that's what I learned from doing scholarly work. You start with saying you know nothing. That's why you do research. And with that, I celebrate with you your certificates which will not be given still uh, be, uh, unless you have all the outputs, right? Uh -huh. And with that, I celebrate with you the, the victory of the grace of God relative to doing research. Marami pong nagagawa ang research na magugulat ka sa buhay mo. And I hope, kahit na bore kayo ng konti, I hope, hindi ba, hindi ba kayo na bore oh? Kahit, well, well, si ate, tinatapos na niya no, para sa certificate program talaga. <laughs> and with that, my, 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 my my request, I end with a request with everyone. Please do pray for our team kasi yung nakita niyo po doon na mga insights, eh, hindi po siya insights out of just because magagaling kami or whatever. Dapat siguro nakita nyo talaga kung ano yung sinatilagsasabi namin po po sa National Catechetical Study. Nung una, makikita yung difference. May paglali. Kung dati parang wala lang, parang walang, wal, wala eh. Diba? Pero ito, meron na. And we thank God for that. And we hope that you will pray for us. Okay? Please pray for us. 
na may magbigay sa amin ng pondo para matapos namin lahat ng to, na mapublish namin lahat ito at mabigyan kayo ng copies. With that, thank you very much po. In behalf of the catechetical leaders all over the nation, we would like to express our gratitude for this memorable day for all of us for mapping out the catechetical landscape of the Philippines as well as yung inyo mapag-google ng panahon, no? So we're on the thank you side already. Ginugula nyo po ng panahon. Catechetics, ginugula niyo rin po ang panahon, ang mga catechetical leaders, at uh, sana po, gugula niyo pa rin po kami ng panahon sa mga susunod na araw, sa pamamagitan po ng pagpasa ng aming assignment, ng assignment po nila. At ganun din po, uh, patuloy po namin kayong pagdadasal, at inagawa niyo ito para po sa kabutihan ng lahat, at ganun din po para sa kahaya ng Diyos. Palakpakan po natin sa bakit. Sina tayo? <laughs> si Dr. Lysander po kasi nandun sa kabila. Oh, eh, yun po. So, we will call off already for our session today. So, tomorrow, please be here at around 7.30 for the rosary and then after the Eucharistic celebration. So, let us all stand and we have to pray for the Holy in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we all say glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye. Hello po. Yung mga nagpigay po ng mga flash drive po nila, nandito na po lahat. Di ko lang po kasi maalala kung kanino po yung mga... Thank you. Thank you.